Good morning, sacred, beautiful family in the light. It's Honey, wishing you an incredible Saturn Saturday. This is the 25th of July, and I am here sharing this with you. Let me get adjusted. In Maryland, and I'm by the river again, let me show you. Where I come, where many of you know, I had like a baptism this morning at the river, just purifying, washing, clearing, whatever else that needs to be cleared out of the way before tomorrow's gateway. So we have this gateway opening up tomorrow that goes all the way to the August of 11th, and with the peak of it being on um, the 8th of August, which all has to do with the Lion's Gate, as this gate opens up. And it opens up to the fullness of Magdalene energy inside of us, both the masculine and the feminine, bring it all together so we can fully embrace this oneness energy with the unity of the mind, body, and soul. So it's just not this separation of the, the mind and the soul, the mind and the soul, which has created so much of the friction as uh, some of those that have transitioned fully into our heart space, into the fullness energy of that, you're able to see, you're able to be in the oneness energy, and then also recognizing um, that many still aren't, and um, and when you when that is shared, they want to know it, they, they can't recognize it because from their mind, it's very it has a struggle to capture this energy but it can't because it has to be felt it's a direct experience direct experience of this diamond energy is inside it's that it cannot be understood by the mind although it will try it which is you know it's job to do because it's it's complex and it needs that complexity but but it's so simple in its purity divinity and this nature so I wanted to come here this morning, just wash my hair in the water and wash first thing and just be here, drum and chant. So I'm prepared my vessel, my preparing my vessel myself before I leave for uh, Mount Shasta. Um, there's a lot happening on large scales for so many of us. Those of us who were able to move into this 100 percent space, um, particularly maybe before the summer solstice or maybe right at the solstice, we have vibrationally shifted completely and we can clearly experience the division that resides and the division where it's love and bliss and the other part of it is complete not. And what it is, is as the grounding and the strength of the heart heart energy, direct heart-to-heart -heart channels is very strong. Everything else, all the other aspects, that's not part of it, is just drifting apart, falling away. And there is a bit of grief and sadness, I have to say. I have teared over some of the closest friends that I have known that's just, just sort of like parted away because they can't hold the energy of diamond. Why they cannot? Because they're still in carbon. If the, the if they're still the DNA is still in the carbon base, it is not updated to the crystalline. They've gotten a glimpse of it and all of that, but but for it to be fully in the crystalline, you have to be able to allow yourself to be in the fullness of the diamond energy. And the diamond energy that means is full trust. That means it's full divinity. Full on it, and it's a lot of courage to be in this space, and it's not for everyone. Not everybody agreed to do this, and I feel that's the part that we have to give ourselves, have compassion, and recognize. As um, a couple of weeks ago in Los Angeles, I just sat and I teared, and I watched some of my loved ones are not going to go through this. And Yeshua came first, Mother Teresa came, kissed me on my forehead, and then. Yeshua came and said, this next phase 
is not for everyone. Not everybody agreed for this. This is for the golden sacred heart that knew how tough this would be. And we said it's for the bravest of the bravest that are able to anchor this energy, which means everything that we are facing, you have to be very, very strong in your field. Very strong. And the strength has to come completely from here. Because you will be ridiculed, judged, and uh, gosh, I've gotten so much of that. You'll be ah, questioned in every way, all because you are celebrating the joy of divinity inside of you, all because you're choosing to honor your higher calling and the clarion call, all because you are choosing to make the changes to be able to move forward with your highest mission in life, that in which has been shown to you. And as you focus on your energy and what you need to do, many cannot tolerate, especially if you radiate in your light. Boy, this is going to push on, on so many people's field because this radiance has so much power. And what it does as it shines on individuals, it assists them to bring up all that density in which they haven't honored themselves, they've denied it or buried it. But because it comes out, it makes them feel horrible, so they just cannot be around you. And it's nothing personal, it's just that your light is shining so bright, and actually what is happening, the light is getting brighter and brighter and more radiant, and the dark is getting darker and darker. And it is part of the same, there's no difference, it's just, where you happen to be more focused in your energy. So quite remarkable place to be, I have to say, and I'm honoring so many of you courageous souls that are walking hand in hand and heart in heart. There are a few of us. There are a few of us. And we chose incarnations to come into, to carry this, especially take part of this time. But we cannot get pulled in, in any way, to what others cannot carry within themselves. It's your diamond energy. It's your diamond plate. It is for you to totally house in, in the golden liquid energy. And this is not for everyone. So my heart goes out because I experienced the same pain. I Oh, some of my sacred ones that I just love so much. I witnessed this parting, parting. As uh, Yeshua did also say, it's going to get even lonelier, which I completely recognize, but also stronger and stronger and stronger. So I'm noticing with some of my incredible circles around other countries, Many are drifting apart as well, and the ones that are stronger are stronger, and the ones that didn't have the the link between the heart to heart, it's also vanishing. So, what's coming up? What's coming up tomorrow? Tomorrow, as this gateway opens up, this gateway also has to do with Africa, the mother energy. It's the fuel. It's the courage, asking you to. Find the depth of courage inside of you. Be nature. Let nature take over you. You will may, you will, and pretty probably will have some of the more of the headaches and the physical things happening as I'm experiencing. My body feels very light. I just want to be more around liquid energy. Drink a lot of liquid stuff, not solid foods. I don't want to be around noise at all as I'm getting myself really prepared. Uh, vibrationally, a lot of chanting, a lot of sounds are coming through me because it just happened to be in that space. And um, be in the same vibration with those, sorry, I keep moving this too fast. Be in the same um, vibration with those that can honor your sacredness, honor your divinity, because from here we get ready for the first phase of, wave of ascension, end of September. Some of you that already know what's coming up, there's a lot coming up and none of us are going into 
panic or stress, we just know the part that we came to do. And all it is is to be able to allow this to be housing for the collective. Um, it's very simple. And it's the simplicity that throws people off. I feel like what throws so many off is how simple it is in its purity, in its divinity, it's just passion and love, the, the, the highest level of love, which is intolerable. It's quite remarkable. But from those of you that get it, I dance with you, I sing with you, I chant with you, I celebrate with you, I honor you for your courage and strength that you are walking your path. And also knowing that those who are still in the mind will have the hardest time with you because they can't trust you, they, because they can't feel you, and they're just still trying to figure it out with their poor heads. So bless them, share your love, expand your heart to them, because that's all you can do, and just lots and lots and lots of prayer. Anyway, Aho! Namaste! In Lakesh Banura Esh. Please keep your fields clean. Stay away from stimuli. Keep your bodies very clean. Dance it. Move it. Celebrate it. Be in nature. Be in your true divine nature during these next several phases. And allow the flame of May Magdalene energy to assist you with your courage. And if you're being called to it, it's because you have shared that aspect of your life with beloved Yeshua, Mary Magdalene, and Mother Mary before. And you're going to just start remembering again. All my love to you. Aho.